February is heart month and I want to take a little bit of time this month to talk about certain cancer treatments and impact on the heart. Anthracyclines are a class of chemotherapy drugs. Uh, these include adriamycin, which is often called the red devil. You might have heard of that, epirubicin, idorubicin. We use these drugs in breast cancer as well as in some hematologic malignancies and other cancers as well. And these drugs do come with a risk of cardiotoxicity. Uh, this can most commonly present as either a decline in your left ventricular ejection fraction, so essentially how much blood is leaving the heart uh, via the left ventricle. And sometimes people can have a decline in their left ventricle ejection fraction but not really feel any symptoms, or sometimes this decline can progress to congestive heart failure. People's ha people will have signs and symptoms of heart failure. Incidence of this varies depending on studies. Some studies have gone one to 2%. There are some studies that more recently have shown a slightly higher risk. And a lot of that depends on not just receiving the drug, on the cumulative dose of the drug, as well as other cardiovascular risk factors, age, diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, smoking, and so forth. And so the first decision that we make is, as an oncologist, I talk to patients about, does the risk of this medication outweigh the benefits of getting this medication? Or do the benefits of getting an anthracycline in terms of reducing the risk of cancer recurrence, treating the cancer, out, do the benefits outweigh the risks, right? And we take everything into consideration. We take in the tumor size, the stage, the extent of disease, the lymph nodes, you know, essentially we're saying like, how aggressive is this cancer? And do we need to treat it with this aggressive chemotherapy that may impact your heart? And then we balance the two, right? And we're taking everything into account. We're also taking into account everyone's cardiovascular risk factors and other comorbidities to make the best decision for the patient. In terms of monitoring, everyone before getting an anthracycline should be getting an echocardiogram of the heart. So that's an ultrasound of the heart. And in, after, typically the course of anthracyclines is finite because you get to a cumulative dose where you're going to have much higher incidence of cardiotoxicity. Uh, and so typically at the, you know, the question becomes, well, how often do we need to monitor your echocardiogram after you complete treatment with an anthracycline and guidelines vary on this a little bit but most of them come out in people who don't have a lot of cardiovascular risk factors you want to repeat that at around six to one, months to a year after completion of therapy um, and that's going to be again individualized depending on your prior echocardiogram your cardiovascular risk and so forth but somewhere between six to, six months to a year there's not a lot of guidelines about how often we need to do it after that. And cardiotoxicity from anthracyclines can happen early, kind of several years after or late in the course. If at any point anyone exhibits signs or symptoms of heart failure, shortness of breath, swelling of the legs, uh, et cetera, then yes, we're gonna be working that up you know, based on the symptoms. So my advice for you is if you've had anthracycline chemotherapy, or if you've had other drugs that may increase your risk of cardiovascular disease, um, if you had left-sided radiation to the heart, which can increase cardiovascular risk, talk to your doctor about your risk and if you would benefit from seeing a cardiologist if you don't already. A lot of cancer centers have cardio-oncology programs, so it's cardiologists that have more training and expertise in oncology, and that's a great option if your cancer center has that. So these are some of the things to keep in mind. Lots of it's a big topic, lots of questions on it. So let me know what you want to know about with cancer and heart disease, and I'm happy to answer it.